bitter truth that we also need to tell ourselves as Nigerians. We are all Nigerians. A few people are only prepared to sit on the high table there. We are on the same level. We must be able to talk the truth to ourselves. We don't have the culture of consumption management in this country in terms of power just because of the cheapness of the tariff we pay in power. A lot of people come back from work, they want to have dinner, or they want to play with their colleagues down the road. They switch on the AC for the room to be cooling before they come back. Yes, some people will be going to work in the morning, a freezer will be left on for days. They will still leave it on. When all the items in the freezer are already frozen, and five, six, eight hours of their absence will not get into the freeze, they will still leave it if you consume power. Just because we are not paying enough. We've all been overseas before. We know how conscious the power consumers are, are to consumption of electricity. What's up everyone, it's your boy the Cracker and to those of you who are just seeing me for the first time and probably into our page for the first time, I want to start by introducing myself. I am a Crackhead and um, we were established um, in 2021. Most times I tend to think the leaders we have in Nigeria, are they humans at all? You guys watched the minister of power talking about the increase in tariff of power in nigeria electricity and the worst thing he said was to make reference to europe to make reference to the western world and again if you are just tuning into our page crackhead for the first time i started by introducing myself i am a nigerian and i'm very very proud to be called a nigerian but at the same time i have been living in israel since 2010 and before israel i was in ukraine from 2007 to 2010 and up till now i still have the opportunity to travel to other countries so for the fact that the minister came on air to make reference to the countries in Europe and the Western world about how the consumers manage electricity. That is a shame for him to have said that. The reason I told you that I'm in Israel is because since I came to Israel, not to even talk about Ukraine, since I came to Israel, there is never a day there's been shortage of power maybe i ever say that the only time there was shortage of power in my apartment was a long time ago and it lasted only for 10 minutes but before that there was already a warning that there will be no light because they are repairing a transformer first of all let's start with our minimum wage our minimum wage guys is thirty thousand naira. that is not even up to 25 us dollar Whereas the country I am living, that everything has been made possible and whatever the government is using these people's tax money to do, they also receive the dividends and the benefit of it. Those of you who have been following me have seen how I show you videos of parks, of nice places here in Israel. The minimum wage in Israel is 6,000 shekels and that is approximately 2 million naira and in dollars it's about 1300 us dollars so can you equate can you compare that this is why these people will have a steady life and this is also the reason the consumers that's us would be able to manage this light first of all you cannot compare 2 million naira to 30000 naira as a monthly income so how dare you raise the prices of electricity? How dare you raise the price, the tariffs of electricity and other things in the country? You, you increasing the prices and expect the Nigerian citizens to adjust. It is not possible. And when I checked how much the ministers, senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria are making on a monthly basis, I saw on Google about 160,000 naira for a minister and in some places on google i saw it was even updated to 940,000 naira now compare 940 or let's even say 150,000 naira for a minister in a month to the average citizen 
making 30,000 naira. And some of these people do not even receive their salaries at the end of the month. Some civil servants are being owed salaries for three, four months. And yet, you expect them to manage how they consume power. And then you expect them to manage all the things you are increasing the prices in Nigeria, talking about fuel, talking about gas, kerosene, everything to food products. You want us to manage. How is that possible? You are taking home at least 150,000 Naira. It is okay if that tariff is being raised with because you can afford 150,000 Naira in a month. Yes, you can pay electricity for even 10 Nigerians if you want to. How do you expect people who are earning 30,000 Naira to pay for the increase in electricity? How do you expect that? And even then, the salaries, most of them have not even received it. If you want us to adjust to the system of what you guys are doing in the government, then you have to increase the minimum wage, not even to 50,000 Naira, at least to 100,000 Naira. Yes, let's start with that. And let's see if we will be able to adjust to the increase in fuel price, we'll be able to adjust to increase in the electricity tariff, maybe we would be able. And when you increase the minimum wage, make sure you do not owe the citizens their salaries because it's too much. The government owes us salary, but I have never heard where senators, where ministers, commissioners come out to say that they've not been paid a month's salary. It doesn't happen. But to the average season, you can us. So, my honorable minister, you shouldn't have made that comparison of life here in Europe to life in Nigeria because it doesn't just make sense. It's your boy, the crackhead, wishing you all a wonderful Saturday. Bye for now.